this is the fourth video in the series of this tutorial right in this video i am going to explain about the cardinal number of a set equivalent set subsets and equal set thereafter i will explain few examples right so first of all let me start with the cardinal number of a set right okay friend the cardinal number of a finite set say n is the number of the distinct members of the set right suppose the set i told the finite set n equal to its member r okay so the cardinal number of the set n is represented like this okay a small n of n right if the set is b having the member 2 3 9 then the cardinal number of the set b will be represented like this okay so what will be the cardinal number of this set count the total number of the members 1 2 3 4 5 5 right the cardinal number of the set n is 5 similarly the cardinal number of set p is 1 2 3 that is equal to 3 right the cardinal number of empty set suppose a set is k and there is no member inside set so n k is equal to 0 0 means nothing right actually i want to say one thing that normally the empty set are represented by phi okay so phi equal to nothing normally don't confuse about why i told about phi because normally the empty set are represented with the letter phi that's why i uh, write this one for you okay so n phi equal to 0 okay i think it is clear now so for writing the cardinal number of a set we need to write the set into tabular form okay suppose a set is given in set builder form like this set a equal to x is the member of the set a x is such that x belongs to natural number and x is less than 7 right so uh, if you are uh, quite intelligent then you can write the cardinal number of set a without writing this set in tabular form okay but i recommend uh, for class 7 student that you write this tabular form of the set a right so the members are x which belongs to natural number the natural number start from 1 and this is less than 7 so i will write all the member like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 right because x is less than 7 so we cannot write 7 here so what is the cardinal number of a here cardinal number of a equal to 6 count the member right one thing i want to clarify also in case when i explain about the cardinal number of a set i used the finite set the word finite set why it is because the finite sets are countable okay because to write the cardinal number of any set we have to count the members and if the uh, set is infinite set so it is impossible to count the members of that infinite set so uh, we used the word finite set okay student but i think it is clear now equivalent set 
right two finite set with an equal number of members are called equivalent set right and suppose set a and set b are equivalent set mind it equivalent set then it can be represented like this that means a is equivalent to b that means what is equivalent set if the cardinal number of set a is equal to cardinal number of set b then the sets are equivalent set so the set a may be like this this is the set a and this is the set b right so this is the two set a and b and count the member here is the five member and here is also five member so the members may be different type but the total number of the member will be same so that is called the equivalent set right i think it is clear now okay now this was all about the equivalent set right now let me explain about subset right subsets if two sets suppose a and b are such that every member of a is also a member of b then we say that a is a subset of b what does it mean i am explaining with example suppose this is the set a right what i told in the definition this is the set a and the member of set a are a e i okay and i am writing another set b whose member are a e i o u right so here a is the subset of b this is the uh, representation way of subset okay we represent subset with this symbol right this is the symbol of subset okay student so what i told the every member of set a is the also the member of set b here a e i the three member of the set a is also the member of set b a e i okay that means a is the subset of b there may be more number of the set in b okay but all the member present in set a must be in set b also right so suppose i am giving another example i am writing a set a equal to 1 2 right i am writing another set b equal to 1 3 and i again writing another set c equal to 1 2 4 okay so here i am noticing in the three set that all the member of the set a are present in set c and not in set b right so we can write a is the subset of set c but all the member of set b are not present in set c only one member is there in set c so we will write that b is not the subset of c right and it can also be written in another way the c is the superset of a right i think it is clear subset symbol is like this it will be this open portion will be opposite side or you can remember that this closed side will be left side and superset will be like this just opposite of the subset right okay friend here i want to note down few important thing about universal set i explained about the universal set previous i think it is in the third part now 
here i want to clarify that every set will be a subset of the universal set suppose it is a universal set u okay having few members okay i am not writing you can write okay 1 2 3 4 dot dot up to 19 suppose that okay and set a is the set having member 2 4 similarly set b having member 7 8 10 okay so these are the two uh, uh, sets the whose members are also present in the universal set so this is the universal set for the set a and set b that means a is the subset of universal set u similarly b is the subset of universal set u right so if we just for understanding draw a venn diagram here and this is the universal set and suppose this is the set a okay and this is the set b so subset must lie inside the universal set any set right whose set is the subset so here we can write a is the subset of u similarly b is a subset of u and second thing i want to clarify that the null set or empty set have no any members right so a empty set can always be a subset of universal set or any set right suppose this is the set a having member 1 3 5 okay so and this is the empty set so we can straight away say that phi is the subset of set a right i think it is clear uh, empty set is the subset of any set any other set right last one i am going to explain about equal set okay two sets a and b are called equal if every member of a is a member of b and every member of b is a member of set a in other words two sets a and b are equal if a is the subset of b and b is the subset of a very simple okay this is denoted by a equal to b because a is the equal set of b right so if two sets are equal then a is the subset of b and b is also the subset of set a and all the members of the set a is equal to the members of the set b i am uh, writing very simple example okay suppose a is the set 0 1 2 very simple okay and set b here i am writing x such that x belongs to whole number and x is less than 3 okay friend so this is the two set if you write the set b in set builder form you will again uh, receive uh, or get 0 1 2 member right so here set a is the equal set of set b i think it is very clear and i have explained it in very simple way right if you have any confusion whatever i explain here you can comment below okay and you can also give your feedback in this video right